Welcome back to All Your Tech. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about StrongBlock and how I'm not quite sure what to think about this crypto project. To give you a little bit of background, StrongBlock sets up nodes. Now, in cryptocurrency, nodes can be used for different things, either a proof of stake, for example, it can be used to validate transactions. In the case of Ethereum, which is still proof of work today, the nodes are set up to hold the entire blockchain and just help decentralize all of the data across the network. Now, typically there are no rewards given out for just being a full node in Bitcoin or the Ethereum network, but StrongBlock helps to change that by providing you with a 0.1 strong reward per day by setting up a full Ethereum node with them and hosting on their cloud services. They charge 10 strong, which is their ERC20 Ethereum based token for the network in order to set up one of these nodes. They purport that 60% of that deposit, so six of the 10 strong goes to help sustain the network and gets paid out to all the other nodes, but they have over 100,000 nodes. And if they're each being paid 0.1 strong per day, unless you have a whole bunch of new people coming in every single day, which they do now, this is not sustainable. Now that's kind of the first red flag for me and that screams pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme, I hate saying that, but it just does. I mean, if you have something that seems too good to be true, it typically is. So then why did I invest in this thing? Why did I buy a node? Well, I think for me, it's let's see what happens, right? I think if you look at it, if you get 0.1 strong a day, it takes about three and a half months for you to recoup back the entire 10 strong that you did as a deposit to set up the node. Now, during that time, the price of strong could increase, could decrease, and so that's gonna change your perceived profitability over the long term. But as it sits now, I should pull in about $2,400 per month at current prices. Now I've gone and I've looked up the CPO, which is our chief product officer, their CTO, chief technology officer, and their CEO to see who they are and what their background is. And they're actually, they seem pretty legitimate. I've connected with a couple of them on LinkedIn, They've worked in the ad tech space, which if you know, I've worked in ad tech for over 20 years now. And one of them comes from Nike of all places. So they seem pretty legitimate. They also have some decent investors and they have some projects like Phantom that actually says that they're starting to use their nodes. So based on that research, it feels a little less likely to be kind of a scammy setup, but I'm still highly skeptical. Even if the project is on the up and up, I think the business model as it sits is highly unsustainable. You just cannot scale this many nodes and have it be this profitable without tons of new people coming in. So I think what's likely to happen is kind of one of three or four things. I think that they're going to probably have to drop the reward for having a node in half, maybe even in quarter over the next few months, which is going to kind of extend out that time until you're profitable. I think the other thing that's likely to happen is the price of strong could actually collapse or drop down if some big market changes happen. And that would leave, again, that time to profitability much longer out than it is. Other issues I see is if people don't keep coming in, how are you gonna actually sell the strong token out on the market? There isn't gonna be the liquidity there to actually pull that off. So if I can't go to KuCoin or someplace else and actually sell my strong for Ethereum, What's the point, right? You're just kind of stuck holding this kind of worthless ERC20 token. So then why did I do this? Well, I wanna do an experiment. I've been in the crypto space for a long time, doing crypto investing, doing crypto mining. And so I thought it'd be a neat experiment to kind of showcase and you guys can follow along and see if I either come out of this profitable or if I lose everything, who knows? It could go either way. So if nothing else, I think it'll be entertaining for you. <laughs> so at this point, I definitely wouldn't suggest you getting involved in this project. If you have bills to pay, rent to feed, kids to put food on the table for, keep your money. There's a lot safer investments out there, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or even just holding on to it and putting it into stocks and ETFs. I consider this to be kind of a really high risk, potentially high reward situation for myself. And so I'm willing to try it out. So if you wanna see how all this turns out, hit like and subscribe so you can follow along for the next three or four months. Definitely leave me some questions or comments down below. Let me know what you think about the project, if you think it's legitimate or not as well. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.